Hey film fans, it's Danielle here from We Talk Film, bringing you the September edition of Most Wanted Movies, a bumper batch of all the UK releases we're most excited about this month. Now, because I'm a massive nerd, I'll be referencing lots of other films and performances during this roundup. So if you want to know more about them, check this out on We Talk Film and they'll all be linked underneath this video. So, first on the slate is a huge Marvel release in the form of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is the introduction of a brand new hero. It stars relative newcomers Simu Liu and Aquafina, who are joined by Hong Kong uber legends Tony Leung and Michelle Yeoh. What do we know about the plot? Shang-Chi has been raised as an assassin by his father, the villainous head of a terrorist organisation, the Mandarin, but he escapes to the US to start a new life on the straight and narrow. However, as Michael Corleone would say, just when he thought he was out, they pull him back in. Aside from having an infectiously charming Twitter feed, Simu Liu is previously known for my favourite lockdown sitcom, Kim's Convenience, and whilst Aquafina is also previously known for comedy, she also struck gold with a brilliant dramatic performance in Lulu Wang's The Farewell. These are two fresh-faced rising stars and I'm very excited to see them together. Shang-Chi also features stunt coordination from the late great Brad Allen. As a frequent collaborator of Jackie Chan, you can expect to see fight sequences that have never been seen in the MCU before. Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings releases exclusively in cinemas on the 3rd of September. You can't outrun who you really are. Next up, we swing in a very different direction with an iconic biopic. It's Universal's Respect. Respect tells the story of Aretha Franklin and her journey from singing in her father's church choir to global superstardom as the Queen of Soul. Respect stars Jennifer Hudson as Aretha. She's joined by Broadway legends Audra McDonald and Titus Burgess alongside Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker. Now, Respect has had some fairly mixed reviews in previews, but if the global success of the very messy Bohemian Rhapsody has taught me anything, it's that audiences will forgive a whole lot of writing if you have a star that really nails a role, and Jennifer Hudson definitely has form for that. Respect is out in cinemas on the 10th of September. Serve the peace when you can't get no peace. Finally, and it's a big one, James Bond's No Time To Die is finally out this month. It's reportedly Daniel Craig's last turn as the super spy as he is pulled out of retirement to help a friend. Leah Sadu, Ben Whishaw, Naomi Harris and Ray Fiennes all reprise their roles from Spectre, whilst Craig is newly joined by his Knives Out co-star Anna Diarmas, who plays a CIA ally, uh, Lashana Lynch, who is a rival double-O, and Rami Malek, who's fresh off his Oscar win to play the supervillain Safin. Whilst we might know what to expect from the Bond formula, there's stuff going on behind the camera that has me quite excited. No Time to Die has been co-written by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who previously penned Fleabag and Killing Eve, no big deal, and is being directed by Carrie Fukunaga a brilliant director and writer whose previous credits include Sin Nombre, Beasts of No Nation and that fantastic first series of True Detective. His previous works really specialise in grit and trauma and some fantastic, long, intricate, one-shot action set pieces. I'm going to link a particular one from True Detective underneath this, but all of that has made me quite excited for what he can do with Bond's action scenes. No Time to Die is out in cinemas on the 30th of September. License to kill. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only yours. Now, 
hold on to your hats for a quick fire roundup of the best of the rest. Also out on the 3rd of September is Annette. Annette is the English language debut from French director Leos Cadax. It's a fantastical musical starring Adam Driver and Marion Cotillard, who are a stand-up comedian and an opera singer who form a relationship. It was a big hit at Cannes Film Festival, which would usually mean it's a shoe in for awards, but given how bizarre many of characters' previous films have been, it's hard to predict how it will go down with a general audience. Also out on the 3rd of September is Wildfire, the debut feature from Northern Irish director Cathy Brady. It's a story of two sisters in a small town in Northern Ireland who are struggling to reconcile with their town's past. I interviewed Cathy last year as part of the BFI London Film Festival where she won a major prize for this film. I also gave it a five star review. It is a fantastic piece of acting and worth checking out. That's Wildfire. It will be out in cinemas. Uh, on the 10th of September, joining Respect, uh, we've got Herself, which has been picked up by Amazon, but is also getting a cinema release. This is an Irish set film by Phyllida Lloyd. It tells the story of a young mother who escapes domestic violence. When the council can't provide her housing, her community rally together and help her build a house herself. It is genuinely wholesome and heartwarming filmmaking that is likely to bring a tear to your eye. And I gave it another five star review late last year. That's herself. Uh, on the 17th of September, coming to Netflix, we have Gunpowder Milkshake. What looks like a riotously over the top action set piece, it stars Karen Gillan and Lida Headey as a, mo- as a mother daughter assassin team. It's been out in the US for a while and done pretty well. Uh, Gunpowder Milkshake, it looks fun. And finally, on the 24th of September, it's another debut feature, this time from British director Marley Morrison. Uh, Sweetheart is a charming, funny, coming of age story about a grumpy teenager who's forced to go on holiday with her family to a caravan park on the British seaside and against all odds, manages to fall in love with the lifeguard. It's a very sweet little sort of summer romance film that will identify with anyone who was that grumpy kid forced to go on holiday with their parents. Uh, That's Sweetheart getting a cinema release on the 24th of September. Now, that is all I have for you this month. There are even more films coming out, more than I can possibly get to, but I couldn't fit them all in. So, top picks, Shang-Chi, Respect, No Time to Die, but do check out my indies as well. There's so many five stars in there. We'll be seeing you soon. Come join us on We Talk Film.